Hi guys, welcome to Fashion 140 here at Saddleback. I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Cami Smith. Um, I'll be instruct your instructor for the fall semester. As you guys know, this is a completely asynchronous class. So we actually don't ever meet on Zoom or in person. Um, you work through the course um, essentially at your own pace, but there are due dates um, in the modules for your homework. So um, typically I, you know, publish things every week, but this semester I have published the whole course. So you can work ahead if you'd like. Um, you can look through the modules at your own, you know, however you'd like to do that. So I want to kind of share my screen, go through our Canvas shell and make sure that everyone's familiar with how to work things um, and then go over our syllabus just so we are all on the same page starting this course. All right. Okay, you guys should all be able to see my screen here. <clears throat> okay. So this is what you should see our homepage when you open up our campus course. Again, you guys are in fashion image, fashion 140. Um, so yours obviously will look a little bit different than mine because I am in the teacher view, but essentially it's the same. It's the same. So here's our homepage. Obviously, um, here is my email. If you ever need anything from me, um, you can literally click on this link and it will send an email directly to me. Uh, and you know, as well as sending me Canvas messages from your inbox. Um, both of those work really great, um, and I typically get them and can respond to you within 24 to 48 hours. The next most important part of our Canvas shell is our modules. And this is how I kind of set up the course. Um, so it's all here week by week. Uh, the modules are set up to where you have to look at every single item in order to get to the next item. So you have to start here and work your way through the module in order to get to, let's say, the extra credit. Um, so we'll go over kind of how to start here. We'll do that um, in a second, but I just kind of want to go through how I've set up the course. So this is this week. This is our first week of class. As you see, you have three different assignments, two assignments and one extra credit this week. Um, and those are all due September 1st. So you have you know, quite a bit of time to complete the first assignments. Really, really important that you guys complete these first two assignments. If I don't hear from you and on these assignments and you also have not logged into Canvas, which I can see how much time you've spent on Canvas, um, I will send you an email and make sure that you're still interested in being in this course before I drop you. But if I don't hear back from your email, from my email I've sent to you, I'll assume that you're just not interested in the course anymore. So please um, make sure that you do the first assignments. Um, and then if I write you an email, write back to me so I don't drop you from the course. Okay, so you can see how it kind of goes through the second week. So every week you'll be responsible essentially to read our lecture notes. Okay, there's also a textbook for this class, but we start off with um, some information that I've put together rather than going from the book. Um, I think it's the first two or three weeks that we go off information from the industry. Um, so this week, the second week of class, you'll go off of my notes here. Um, you'll use some resources to kind of, um, you know, reinforce those ideas and concepts from the notes, and then you'll also do homework, okay? So every week you're kind of um, responsible for reading the notes, doing the homework assignments on time, and making sure that you're completing the modules. As you can see, all the modules have been published. So let's say you are gonna go on vacation for two weeks and you wanna get you know kind of that work done. You can work ahead and complete all the homework um, up until, you know, after you leave or whatever, um, so that you don't have to worry about your homework when you're on vacation or something like that. So it is all open to you and you can definitely access all the information. Starting the week of the 19th of September, that is when we start using our book. So you have a little bit of time to get the book. Um, it's obviously available at the Saddleback Bookstore, but it's also available on some other sites like Amazon and Chegg. Um, you can buy used books for a lot cheaper. You can also buy the online version, which is great. I use the online version, version and I really like it. Um, but so once it says chapter one notes, this is when we start using our style-wise textbook. So not only are you responsible for reading the textbook, but you're also responsible for going over these lecture notes um, in the PowerPoints. And all of these PowerPoints you can download onto your computer and keep. Um, so there you go. This is kind of how 
the class is set up. We do have a midterm on the 14th of November. Again, you can do the midterm at any time, um, but this week here, the 14th of November, that's when the midterm is kind of open and that's you know when you're supposed to do it. The week after, we don't have any class for Thanksgiving break, so you get a little, little time off, and then we come back um, the 28th of November. Um, and then we have a final project due on the on the 12th of December, and well, it's actually due the 15th of December, and that's essentially our last week of class. Um, so there you go. You can kind of see how the, the course is set up. Um, let's see. I would like to go over the syllabus really quickly. So I can kind of explain everything to y'all. Okay, so this is fall 2022. Again, here you have my email address. If you need anything from me, I'm always available um, for any help. Another really important thing is our Instagram, Saddleback Fashion. Great Instagram to follow to see what's coming up, what exciting events are happening. Um, so make sure if you do have Instagram to add that. And then here's a phone number if you ever need to get in contact with anyone. This is an asynchronous course again, and this course runs from this week until um, the week or uh, till 12, 19, which we end up a little bit earlier. <clears throat> Our required textbook is the Stylewise, a practical guide to becoming a fashion stylist. And it's the second edition that we work off of. So make sure that you buy the second edition and not the first. Um, the information is a bit different. The first edition is a little bit outdated. So the second is a little bit older too, but it translates more to our industry. This course is all about <coughs> apparel selection based on application of color, line design theories and studies of principles um, and the choice of dressing for a career and other lifestyles. So it really presents methods of projecting appropriate professional images and offers concepts of wardrobe planning, cultural influences, consumer needs in clothing, buying guides and care and maintenance of wardrobe. It aims to help you guys look your best, okay? Taking into account personal style, lifestyle goals and budget. Um, we also go over being a fashion stylist. I myself is a free, you know, myself am a freelance fashion stylist. Um, so I do in, have a lot of insight into the industry and um, how the industry works. <clears throat> it provides tools for evaluating your individual styling, style, accentuating your assets, becoming aware of color, proportion and fit, professional fashion styling, image management, and photo shoots will be included. So a big portion of this class is actually conducting your own photo shoots. Um, which is a really fun part and hands-on part of this class. Um, but of course, you know, we are asynchronous, so you will have to kind of do those and manage them and execute them on your own. Here's a list of, you know, some optional books that I love that are great additions to this class. Um, here's some suggested reading. So, you know, having access to some of these resources are great to keep, um, you know, present and modern in what's happening in the styling world. You also have access to WGSN through Saddleback. I've go, I've went ahead and created all of you guys an account on WGSN. Now you just have to log on. So that is an assignment, I believe, in the second week. Um, so some learning objectives is to understand three different career areas within fashion styling. So print, entertainment, and man image management, which we will go over. Those notes are directly from the textbook. To be able to dress and style yourselves and others with confidence and professionalism to accentuate your individual career and personal goals, and also to complete a professional working wardrobe for a client, enhancing their body type, clothing, personality, seasonal colors, and staying within a budget. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So grading policy is very simple. It's just an accumulation of points. Okay. So Essentially, you take all the points that you've earned over the course of the semester, and we divide them by the total possible points to determine the final grade. So there's not really any percentages or grading on a certain scale or anything like that. It's just adding up all the points that you get and then dividing them by the total amount possible in the end of the semester. Um, so very important that you take advantage of all the extra credit opportunities, that you do all the assignments because I, I promise you that every single point matters. <clears throat> late assignments. Late assignments will not be accepted unless you have a documented reason. So if you are sick, you need a doctor's note sent to me to my email. Um, if you need a special accommodation, you should be going through GSPS. Um, so every exemption or late assignment, if you're trying to turn something in, needs to be backed up by a documented reason. 
Um, so really, really important that you do that. Um, let's say you get sick and you've had to go to the hospital. I 100% want to accommodate you in the extra time to do the assignment. I just need the proper documentation. So make sure that you send that with your email when you're telling me that you need the extra time and there'll be no problems. But other than that, I do not take late assignments. The assignments are always open, so you can always submit them, but if it's past the deadline, you will get a zero. Um, because it's an asynchronous class, obviously we don't take attendance or you know we don't see each other, um, but you are expected to check in with Canvas regularly and work through the modules in a timely fashion. I, once again, can see how much time you spend in Canvas, right? So if in the middle of the semester, you've only spent 15 or 20 minutes in Canvas and you are asking me for help with your grade because you have an F, there's obviously a disconnect there because you have not spent time working on the modules in Canvas, right? So um, make sure that you are spending time in Canvas, you're going through the modules, you're working through them, you're reading the notes, you're reading the textbook, um, and you know, kind of executing that in a timely fashion. You guys are expected to view all the lecture materials, participate in discussion, discussions, complete the activities and assignments each week by course deadlines. Um, so I won't be grading attendance, obviously. If I see that you haven't turned in, you know, multiple assignments over a course of a few weeks, I will definitely reach out to you and make sure that you're okay. Um, make sure that you still want to be in the class because sometimes it's better to get a withdrawal than to get an F on your transcript. So I will make sure that I talk to you about that. Um, okay, let's see. Hmm, okay. So, so good work ethic is expected from everyone. Okay, you guys, students who failed to submit the first two weeks, um, submit anything for the first two weeks of class, maybe dropped by me. I will definitely reach out prior to doing anything like that, but it's really important for you to turn in stuff the first two weeks of class, which are really low impact assignments. So make sure that I know, kind of show me that you're, you're interested in the class and that you wanna be here. Obviously for communication, I'll use the Saddleback email system and Canvas, okay? Um, these will deliver to me um, and I will essentially hopefully get back to you within 24 to 48 hours, a little bit longer over the weekends, but during the week I can get back to you pretty quickly. So if you ever have a question or ever need anything, please reach out rather than waiting till an assignment is due or till it's late. Um, Cause I would rather help you and you get some points rather than no points. So always, if you have a question, please, please, please reach out. Obviously having email etiquette. Okay, this is professional. You guys are in college. So having professional email etiquette is important. Please make sure that you write your first and last name and that you also write what class you're in. I teach eight classes, so it's a lot of students that I have to keep track of. So make sure that you say, hey, this is Jane Doe from your fashion image class, you know, for fall 2022. I need help with this. And then I can definitely get back to you. I can also um, see who you are because a lot of you guys email me from your personal emails that don't have your first and last name. So it's very, very important that you write your first and last name in what class you're in. Um, okay, so academic, academic integrity, I don't think I have to spend too much time on this, but, you know, don't play, plagiarize, write everything in your own words. It's kind of hard to cheat in this class because a lot of it is from your own creativity. Um, there's not a lot of research-based stuff in here. So, um, you know, just, you know, be conscious of writing things in your own words. Uh, dropping the class, if you want to drop the class, it's your responsibility to drop, Okay. Um, making sure that you drop by at a certain date, either to get your money back or to get a W on your transcript is really, really important. So pay attention to those dates just in case you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I have the time or I don't know if this is going to work for me. Make sure that if you are going to drop the class that you drop in a timely manner, because if you wait too long, sometimes the college cuts off the date and um, you will result in getting a bad grade on your transcript. Students with disabilities, okay? There is DSPS here on campus. Um, you guys are all eligible for special considerations for your projects, due dates, testings. Um, and that's totally, um, I, I'm totally more than willing to work with any sort of accommodation. It just needs to come through the DSPS um, and the Student Services Center. So I need, they send me an official letter and then I can accommodate all your needs in our Canvas, uh, in our Canvas shell. All 
right, let's see what else we've got here. Okay, so there's a bunch of more information. We have a tutoring center at Saddleback that can help you. Um, this is all the information here. Let's see, emergencies. We have counseling here, really important. If you ever need any help, we have free counseling here at, at Saddleback. So really important to take kind of, um, you know, take advantage of that if you need it. Okay, so that's pretty much the syllabus. Um, let's go through here. <clears throat> this is another important discussion. This will be open the whole semester. It's called class related questions. So let's say that you send me an email or that you're a little confused on something and you're not sure how to execute it or how to go about it. Maybe I'm taking more than 24 hours or maybe more than 10 hours and you really want to get the assignment done. This is a forum for class related discussion or questions. So it would be great if you guys could use this discussion to ask each other questions, right? So I could say, hey, like, um, where did someone, where did you guys buy your book? I'm looking for a cheap option. I'm looking for a used a used option of the stylized textbook. You can put that into this discussion and maybe someone will write back to you or maybe I will write back to you on some ideas of where you could get that book. So this is a great place to start. If you do have questions um, or you are confused on something, you can definitely start here in this forum. Um, okay, next, go here. So um, I just want to make sure I'm really excited to have you guys all in this class, even though we are in an asynchronous course and we don't get to see each other every week. Um, that doesn't mean that we can't build a relationship. I'm always available by email or Canvas mail, and I'm also available to meet you on Zoom if you need extra time or if you need something explained. So please let me know. I just have to know in advance to be able to um, you know, be able to schedule you in. Like I said, I have eight classes at multiple colleges. So I do have a lot of students that need stuff from me. So I just need some, I need time in order to be able to accommodate you. Um, so if you do need to meet with me or want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, we can totally do that. I just need time to be able to schedule you in. Um, most assignments are due within, so I typically do the assignments are due on Thursdays at 11.59 p.m. So Essentially, you have a week and four days to complete the assignment. So almost like a week and a half to complete every single assignment, which is quite a bit of time. There's some other ones uh, like your photo shoots. You have double the time um, to complete those assignments. So you do have some extra time in this class, even though you do work at your own pace. Um, the deadlines are set specifically for Thursdays at 1159. Once again, it's also your responsible responsibility to read the lecture notes, go over the lecture notes, read the textbook. Um, this is an asynchronous class where you are responsible for reading the, the information. Um, let's see, I don't take like late assignments like I talked about. So your responsibility would be on top of the due dates, especially because it's an online course. So <clears throat> one thing I highly recommend is to check your grade regularly. I'm pretty good about grading things. Um, in, a, in a timely manner so that you know where you're at and that you can make sure that your grade looks like what you want it to look like. Um, and then if there's, there's something becomes a problem or maybe I missed something or maybe you thought you turned something in, then you can always reach out to me. It's better to do it in the moment rather than waiting till the end of the semester, right? That's a little too late. So keeping on top of your grade, checking in with your grade here on Canvas, you can see here, I can click grades and I can look at my grade um, is going to be really important. Yeah, um, let's see. So there are four photo shoots in this class. Three of them are test shoots that we do during the course of the class. And then last one is your final. Um, it's really important that you shoot other people. So you cannot be the model in your photo shoots. You have to shoot someone else, your talent. Um, if you don't, you will receive a zero. So you have to be able to shoot people for your photo shoots. That's really, really important. All right, again, here's my email. You can always reach out to me if you need anything. <clears throat> what else do I have for you guys? I think. So this week you'll have, you'll read what is a mood board. You'll create a personal mood board to introduce yourself to me. Um, so I can kind of get to know who you are and see who you are um, and see what you're interested in. You'll also participate in a discussion that's called let's get to know each other. Um, whether you put you know, your school email, your Instagram, or your phone number. It's just a way to get connected to the students in class. If you ever need help or you want to study with someone, 
um, this has been really, really helpful for all of my uh, my students. And then there's an extra credit opportunity called Get Connected. So um, if you click on that and you connect with me on Instagram, you connect with Saddleback on Instagram, um, you will get some extra credit points. All right. If you guys have any questions, you know where to reach me. Hopefully you guys have a fun semester and enjoy the course. Uh, it's really creative and hands-on. Um, and I'm always here for you, always here for you. If you need help, if you need ideas, if you want to get an internship, if you need connections to the industry, um, I love to help my students get working in the industry. So please don't be a stranger, connect, um, and we will go from there. Thank you guys. Have a great semester.